Hi, welcome to Automax Tools. Today we are here with a new series of videos, AMT Tech Tips. We will help you to rectify small problems that you face in your daily diagnostic while using our Outel devices. Let's get started. In the first video, I'll show you the problem of the VCI for your Outel Maxxis Ultra 919909 or any other device that connects to the car by Bluetooth. Let's do it. First of all, once you connect the OBD cable for the VCI to the car, please make sure that the green light is stable. Second, always make sure when you are trying to start the diagnostic, the VCMI here, it should be green. If it is red, always open the VCMI menu and check if the serial number of your VCI is displayed in the screen. Next up, just what you have to do is click here on the serial number and it will process the connecting and you will hear a beep sound that indicates that your VCI is connected to the tablet. Another important thing to have a stable communication with your Maxxis to the car, always make sure that you have the latest update for your VCMI or VCI for your Outel devices. To check this, always connect the USB cable with your Maxxis that comes in the box. The one end will go to the USB port of the tablet and the other will go to the VCI or the VCMI depending upon the model that you are using. The USB cable helps to have a stable connection while downloading the firmware. For this process, internet is important. After here it will show if the firmware is available, we will just connect update. Do not turn off the screen or go to another menu while the VCI firmware is updated. Always follow the instructions on the screen and this way you can have the latest firmware for your VCI. Next up, just go to the Bluetooth menu and the VCI Bluetooth is connected and then you are ready to make the diagnostic. Hope you like this video. For similar videos, like and subscribe our channel and we'll have similar videos to help you in your diagnostic procedures with your devices. Thank you.